Good afternoon. It is Sunday. It is 1237. I did not go to church today. I woke up and my back was not right. So I ate my breakfast and I went back to bed. And I'm out in these streets now um, because A, I took an aspirin, a naproxen. Um, and I had to come out and get me that salad from Salada. That's 20 doggone bucks for a small. I think I showed y'all this <laughs> once before. The small salad. Yeah. <laughs> that is a small salad. And this will pretty much hold me for the rest of the day. Um, oh my goodness. I got the same stuff that I got last time except I add, added banana peppers. I got the smoked turkey and the spicy shrimp. And um, now I'm just on my way home. So did you guys go to church today or did you watch church? Um, what did you guys do? Because before I left, I took a hot, hot, hot shower and just put on some random clothes. But um, I was going to record doing my exercises. I so said, we'll do that later, which I do. I still want to do that later. Um, it might be later on today. Um, and since I was downtown, I went ahead and picked up, um, of course, my probiotic sodas that I love. And my husband wanted some shishito peppers, so I picked up four containers of those and some more crushed ginger that I put into my smoothies and I also got a truffle a caramel sea salt truffle that I ate that was good um, so I'm starting to feel a little bit better but this is the thing about my back when I start walking it wants to do a little something. I think I just need to go back to getting my massages bi-weekly. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I, I did, but I am determined not to get that shot. Yeah, we're not doing that. I'm not doing that. When I went to the emergency room that one time, because I have Kaiser insurance, and they have um, an, an emergency room that I actually discovered last year when I broke my foot. But anyway, the lady was like, oh, we're just going to go ahead and, you know, after they examined me and everything, we're going to go ahead and give you a shot, an injection. I said, you know. No, we're not doing injections in my back. Crazy. I'll take a pill. And it's so funny, immediately, this is how I, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a grown woman, right? But this is how I know I'm a grown child. <laughs> when she said injection, I immediately was like, my mom is not here. That's how I, um... Okay, so like when this whole COVID thing was going crazy, right? And they were heavily promoting getting, get the shot, get the shot, get the shot. So, okay, I went ahead and got the shot. I didn't go back for the second and the, the booster. I didn't do all of that. I just got the first round and it wasn't busy, but um, I was nervous. And normally when I get injections like that, even if it's drawing blood, I begin to sweat profusely. <laughs> and that leads to questioning, you know, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just normally do not give blood, take shots without my mom. <laughs> so the lady was like, did you want me to call her? I said, in heaven. And she said, oh. I said, it's okay. 
<laughs> you know, okay. So, yeah, I don't, I don't do shots without my mom. Ooh. And so, but anyway, especially not in my back. Who's doing? No, no one's doing that. Give me a pill. So, what I'm gonna do when I get home? Because I think when I, I think when I get home, I'm done. I'm done with going out. Um, I'm gonna take my muscle relaxer, and that's gonna be it for me. And I will just come back later in an exercise. Because I just, I just don't want to aggravate it, and I think I need to kind of let it relax just a smidge before I do anything which really the exercising doesn't too much bother my back at all I mean it's squats and it's upper body but the upper body I wish I had some um some five pound dumbbells the eights are not heavy but just to you know really take care of my back but um yeah I'll do them later because I'm feeling actually a lot better And I just got notification when I was in, when I was coming out of Trader Joe's, because I went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods um, as well. Um, I got more lip gloss. I know. Maya, don't you have enough? I do. But why do you keep buying them? They were good because you took over. Well, you wasn't mining with the greens. I don't know what to tell you, but anyway. Um, and then, you know, she doesn't make a lot of money, so I try to be mindful. And greens are cheap, right? You just really need the, the uh, smoked turkey and the greens. And we have everything else at the house seasoning. But really, we don't even season our greens because the smoked turkey puts all the flavor in our greens. And then our greens don't take three hours to cook greens be done in like 45 minutes to an hour because you still want a little bit of a, a bite to them but I don't like soggy greens oh and my kids also like when I cook cabbage um what else are we gonna make oh sweet potatoes it's the same thing every Thanksgiving and my husband is going to do I don't know, I got PTSD when it comes to my husband doing things for Thanksgiving because for years, and like last year we started doing like a, what you call a, um, a bake off. I won the bake off last year. But he makes these desserts from scratch and they would be good if he doesn't. He always misses and omits, not on purpose, a key ingredient and it's normally something significant like sugar so you eat his um his uh what do you call like what did he make um like a peach pie where's it it's like a diet peach pie because it's just he always misses something um and that's been every year he misses a key ingredient it's so funny so I need to remind everyone that we are doing a bake-off again. 
this year. So to get on it, I need to research. I made a crock pot dessert. It was like a cinnamon apple crock pot dessert that I found off of TikTok. My daughter and her now ex-fiance, ex, I don't know what he is. Anyway, her ex. They made, I can't remember, but they lost. And, you know, so yeah. I gotta really dig in my bag of tricks as to what I'm going to make this year. So, because we, we're gonna need dessert. But anyway, I don't really want nothing. I didn't check in with you guys this morning. I lubricated my entire body with my shea butter and I wish I didn't do that because really I want to put my TENS unit on so I can get that electrical shock massage. It'll wear off later. I'll, I'm sure I'll go to sleep in it. So yeah. gets these phone calls that these criminals are making to loved ones or whatever and she plays these phone calls you guys and Ernesto Ernest whatever his name is is talking to side piece it's a mess y'all it's a mess I've been kind of listening to that and getting updates on that because it's so so scary and silly and sad and, um, and of course everything is taking place here in Atlanta Atlanta is the hub of everything foolish. I love, I love the city. Anyway, I'm down the block from the house. I'm gonna go. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all a little bit later because I am going to exercise later. And I love you guys all so much. I hope that you are having a productive day. Tomorrow we go up. Our rep count goes from 15 to 20. And that's another reason why I need to lay my tail down and get up out these streets. Because um, 20 is going to be interesting. And then I really need to look at the calendar because with the holidays coming, I'm just not sure of what this exercising schedule is going to look like, but stay tuned for that. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I love you so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 